Listen to the full audio series on the Pocket FM app. Click on the link in the description to install now. Robert didn't know that Emma had fallen down and sprained her ankle. When he noticed her swollen feet, he got uneasy, as if his own feet were hurting. What the hell, Emma? Your feet. You're hurt. It's... it's okay. I can take care. Get in the car. Right now. The car went straight to the hospital. Robert picked Emma up in his arms and took her inside the hospital. He was worried sick for her. But Emma... Mr. Erickson, I told you it's not that serious. I can walk on my own. I've asked Samuel to come here to be tutored. You don't have to move at all. Emma was undoubtedly surprised and touched by this gesture. The next day, she went to school and found her stepbrother Jack waiting for her. Emma Meyer, please stop! You're walking too fast! My name is Emma Green, and yes, I'm walking fast because I'm trying to avoid you! You're still mad at your older brother? I'm sorry, Emma. I just care for you. Stop. Listen, Dad doesn't like you being around Erickson. You should immediately stop seeing him for whatever reasons. With that warning, Jack left, and Emma couldn't help but think about how mean her dad William Meyer could get to save his reputation. Suddenly, a black owl pulled up in front of her, dragged her in, and covered her face. Emma was being kidnapped. When the cover on her face finally lifted, she found herself sitting in front of her dad, William Meyer, and he was not happy. Do you have no shame at all? You were asked to stay away from Robert Erickson on several occasions, but you... This is my life, and if you thought you deserved a say in it, forget it! Oh, you will so regret this, girl. This is the final warning. Get rid of Robert, or I can't promise you I'd be this kind the next time. And a mention of kindness from you. Emma shook her head and started to walk out of his big mansion. For some reason, she had always been treated like she didn't belong there and she always felt she was not a Meyer. Emma was walking outside to the road, feeling helpless. And just then, a car stopped right in front of her, and Robert got out of it like an angel. Without a second thought, Emma ran to him and hugged him. Robert hugged her right back. While they were hugging in the streets, a car passed by them and entered the Meyer mansion. Sitting inside was Isla Meyer, the Meyer daughter. She ran straight to her father. Why was that girl here, Dad? You brought her here, didn't you? How could you? And now she's out there romancing Robert Erickson. What did you say? Robert Erickson is with her. You mean now? Yes, I saw them both hugging in the streets. Look, Dad, if you ever bring her back in this mansion, I'll forget that you're my father. Take care of Emma Green. According to William Meyer, nothing should come between his reputation, not even his own daughter. What was going to happen to Emma now? You told me you broke up with my Ted. Then why did I see you both together yesterday? He was on his knees in front of you. Proposing? Just because he was on his knees, it doesn't mean he was proposing to me. He was begging for my forgiveness. So you didn't get back together, did you? No. Your son and I are not together, and we never will. I hope that makes you happy. Principal Smith had always made it hard for Emma because she was poor and was dating her son, Ted. On several occasions, she had asked Emma to break up with Ted. And now that it had finally happened, she's happier than ever. Meanwhile, Robert had asked his secretary to get all possible information on Emma. Emma's file was finally in Robert's hand, and everything was normal except for one thing. No one knew who Emma's father was. But the file said Emma had some links with the Meyer family. Robert started to grow curious. Robert Erickson and the Meyer family never seemed to go together and were rivals for ages. <sighs> Why are you here now, Jack? I'm just here to order food, okay? I need some burgers. A hundred will do. It's my treat at work today. Your order will be ready in 15 minutes. Please have a seat. There's no one here. Why don't I just stand here and have a little chat with my little sister? While Jack was trying to convince Emma to leave Robert's place, Robert was standing at a corner and staring at the two of them. Emma, do you really think that Erickson sees you only as his brother's tutor? God, I honestly don't understand what's the problem with you and Dad. What do you even think of me? That I'll marry someone for money? Emma! Jack held Emma's hand as she turned to walk away. Right then, Robert Erickson entered. Emma quickly pulled her hands out of Jack's grip. Miss Green, I'm here to take you home. Good. Let's go. 
Emma quietly walked along with Robert and sat in his car. It made Jack really angry, but he didn't react. What's wrong? Had a fight with Jack? And why do you have to know that again? I thought we were friends. Friends with the big boss? <laughs> you must be kidding. Emma thought Robert could not be serious about her. The next day, after Samuel went for his exams, she told Robert that her job as a tutor was complete and that she was going to move out. This made Robert really sad and his heart sank. Mr. Erickson, our employment relationship is over. This is goodbye then. You won't have to be bothered by me anymore. And then Emma just walked out of his home and his life. Robert didn't say a word when she left, even though he had hundreds of things going on in his mind. Emma moved back to her school and she went back to her part-time jobs. She was working at the cafe when Jack showed up again. You're here again. Can I just steal you for a few minutes? I promise it will be quick. Emma nodded and Jack took Emma in his car to an open field. Emma was surprised and as they walked in, they witnessed some beautiful fireworks. Emma smiled with joy and hugged her brother. I realized I was hard on you. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I just love my little sister and care a lot for her. But I know she's all grown up and can make her own decisions. I shouldn't have told you to leave Robert. I am no longer living in his mansion. I moved out after my contract with him ended. In the happy conversation and the fireworks going on, Emma didn't notice that Robert Erickson had been calling her for the fourth time now and was totally losing patience. He angrily called out his secretary and asked him to find out Emma's current location. Who the hell does she think she is? Ugh, this woman will drive me crazy. Why does she have this power over me? Why do I get so restless when it comes to her? Emma! Will Robert get to see Emma again? Will they both think about taking their relationship forward? Hi guys, Emma here. Listen to full episodes of Cupid's Curse exclusively on the Pocket FM app. Click the link in the description or simply search Pocket FM on Play Store or App Store to install now.